92.3 now. So you guys have a single out called Rude, and I absolutely love it. And I, I would Thank tell you the truth if I didn't. I mean, not on camera or anything, but, you know, I love the song. It's got a reggae pop feeling to it. It's kind of like a romantic song. Um, how do you guys feel about So That's how I feel about it. How do you guys feel about the song? Oh, it's similar. I mean, we, we feel the same way. We like we, we still love singing it. We've sang it a million times. We still love singing it, which is a good sign for all of us. Uh, we are pretty proud of it and it's spreading around everywhere now it's starting to get on the radio and like just dozens and dozens of countries so to have all these new fans is pretty great this is kind of your guys' time so how long have you been working to get to this point where people are starting to be receptive back again of reggae music oh uh, you know we've only been a band for about a year and a half oh newbies yes yes we are newbies and um we started individually we've all played you know reggae with an you know, whether we're playing, you know, at some open mic jam or whatever it is over the years, because we've all been influenced by the police and by the whalers and all these great talents. Um, but we've only been a band for a year and a half, so about a year and a half. You guys can have a ska vibe to your to your sound as well. You know, like I was listening to the new single Rude and there's kind of like some ska riffs in that song. So is there any ska inspiration involved? Yeah, I mean, we, we you know, all, all versions of reggae music that that kind of have come our way and all versions of pop music and soul music and we've kind of taken it all in through our whole lives and our whole careers and you know just experienced experienced a lot of things and experimented with a lot of different things and um rude yeah i guess it has that more of that kind of vibe kind of a no doubt kind of a sound you know and, and you'll find other songs on the record that have you know a, a different kind of a take on it what other sounds are you guys looking to like produce and, and release later on you know, after Rude, you know, makes the circulations and stuff. Uh, right now, our second single is called Don't Kill the Magic, which Australia is now okay. picking up because Rude already became, it went number one in Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, so they moved on to the next single. And it's, that's a little more kind of rock soul driven. Mm -hmm. um, but no, we don't, I mean, for us, uh, the album has a little bit of reggae in it everywhere, but there's, you're going to hear soul, you're going to hear rock, pop and reggae is yeah. kind of the four. Is there anybody in particular that you guys would like want to tour with that you guys feel would be kind of just like an honor to tour with or? or Maybe Bruno, like we, I like what Bruno's doing because he's sort of walking that line as well Absolutely. with pop and like he's, but he's mixing it cool. So he doesn't do just the straight EDM dance stuff. You yeah, know I, mean? I don't I don't think, has Bruno ever really done like Not EDM? Really. Not really, Not right? Really. He never jumped on that. He's always been the soulful exactly. band so, guy. So the musical side of that yeah, I think is a cool pair with us. So well, that's one artist that would be cool. Yeah, that's that's definitely dope. So where do you guys see that field going in like pop music? Do you guys see it going anywhere, or I mean, are you hoping to go somewhere? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're we're, you know, we focus on our own music. Um, I think to take on the whole world of music and to, you know, we're not going to do that. We're going to just be our band and be magic. And um, if it can create a movement, then 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 that's probably the best thing where everybody comes out uh, and they know they're about to share in this, you know, really old school, you know, reggae is not new, you know, to share in it. And for modern day kids who, and even ourselves who, you know, Bob Marley died when the year, like we were, we were born. So uh -huh. for there to be new artists who bring in a small bit of that into, reggae is so loving. There's just such a, a, a togetherness to the sound and the, uh, the rhythmic side of it, I think um, hopefully it just brings people together. That's yeah. really what it's about.